Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the GeoGebra graphing uh, calculator on the iPad to explore the idea of concavity and finding a point of inflection. Okay, so first of all I'm going to open up the graphing calculator. So in my school apps here, the graphing calculator, there's quite a lot of GeoGebra apps, so make sure you've got the right one. So this is like the finished product. So I'm going to try to recreate this um, product for you. So if I um, press the three arrows and clear all, so I go back to start bit, starting point again. So a couple of things to begin with. If you press the cog and press the labels, you can put the X and Y uh, labels in. Okay, and obviously I'm probably going to need to make the font a little bit bigger. So you probably don't need to do this last bit. So I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger so you can actually see what I'm doing. Now, in order to get the equation that I want, I'm just going to log into my, uh, sorry, just open that again. And what I wanted to do is do split view. So hold on to the thing and then move it over here like that, and then you'll get a split view. So this is the, this is the function I want to try and recreate. So just going to recreate that. So when you press this, you need to make sure you're in numbers. So I, I'm going to want two x to the power of three i need to press the arrow key now bring it back down plus three x this is automatically a squared button minus four x minus three and then i don't need the um safari file anymore so just going to pull it back there now if I, with two fingers on the x-axis if you now pull apart you'll be able to make the axis a bit bigger so it's a bit better maybe we'll make that a bit smaller i don't know all right i'm going to now create a slider so to get the slider you see you've got a calculator then you've got a circle and a triangle press the circle and the triangle and press slider and put where you want it. Okay, I want to go from minus five to uh, five. Step 0 0.05 is okay. Press okay. Now I can move it around to where I want it to be. And now if I go back to the calculator, it's there. If I press the three dots and press the settings, I could perhaps change the color if I wanted to. Right. Right, now I want to, what I want to do is put a moving point onto the curve. So the curve is defined as f of x. So if I press input and now press bracket, now to get the uh, letter A, because it needs to correspond with the slider, you need to press uh, the ABC, press A, comma, F, and then to get the brackets, unfortunately, you need to go back for, to that one and then go back to that one, a little bit cumbersome. Okay, press enter. Right, if I now move, you can see now I've got a moving point. Okay, so if we now select the point, the three dots, go to the settings, we'll change the color to red so it stands out. It's all personal taste. And I'm going to rename the point, so it's at the top, it's just going to rename it as a capital P. Okay, you can see it's all changed. Okay, so the next step is to put the tangent in. So press the circle and the triangle and scroll down here. And then in construct, you'll see tangent. Press it with your finger. The arrow will come up will say tangent. Hit the point, hit the curve, and then you've got the tangent. Go back to the calculator, press the three dots, go to settings, and let's change the color to something like blue. Okay, so now what I've got is a tangent. Now, what you'll notice is when you put this across this curve, oh, if you want to label the curve, that's another thing we should do, is if we press the three dots and go to settings, set caption style, and then just put down the, well, not value, I'll put name and value at this time, it will uh, add in the name of the function. It does seem to do it but right at the very bottom, so it's a bit difficult to see, but never mind. Okay, so if you move the um, slider, what happens is you'll know that here there's a horizontal tangent and here there's a horizontal tangent. But what you will notice, if we just move that out a little bit, what you will notice is that here, sorry, starting from here, the tangent is above the curve. 
okay and it's still above the curve and then at some point just down here it will change from going from one side to the other which is actually it's like actually at minus 0 0.5 let's just do that Okay, at that particular point, it will just um, change from one side to the other. Okay, and then then it will be underneath. Okay, so the point where it changes from one side to the other is called the point of inflection. It's called a non-stationary point of inflection. And the um, above the curve, we've got concave downwards, and below the curve, we've got concave upwards. So if we uh, go back to this and we ask it to put in um, F and then you have to press the alpha beta gamma and press the uh, apostrophe twice okay it will put in the second derivative okay and you will notice at that point minus 0 0.5 that the second derivative is actually equal to zero so let's just uh, change the settings uh, so let's go for style and change it to a dot dash line. Okay, so you're learning some uh, tricks here. Uh, settings, and then we'll put in the uh, no, we won't. We won't put the value in. We won't do that. We'll just keep that hidden. Okay, it doesn't look very nice. Okay, anyhow, so there we got. We can see at the point inflection at the moment that the second derivative is actually equal to zero. Okay, um, so if we now ask it to put the, the curve for x comma, go back to numbers, x less than minus 0 0.5, enter. Oh, it's asking me. Oh, I forgot the x. I must press the wrong button. So press backspace and then just press x. Okay, it will uh, put in, so we'll just change the color of that again. We'll go to settings and change the color, we'll go for orange. Okay, where the curve is orange is where the curve is concave downwards. Okay, and then if we put in here F comma back to one, two, three, X is greater than minus 0 0.5 enter okay we're going to change the color again so settings and make that one red so it stands out okay so where the graph is red the curve is concave upwards the so tangent is below the curve and where the curve is orange where the curve is orange is um concave downwards and if we just plot the point uh comma minus 0 0.5 comma f of minus 0 0.5 okay and we'll see that points appear where the point a is is, is is the actual point of inflection that's the point where the tangent crosses from one side to the other okay so i hope you find this useful you can move this back there and then you've got um the whole thing if you don't want to see where it is concave you can um, remove move anything by just pressing it so there's the there's the original curve there's where it's concave downwards and that's where it's concave upwards by just changing colors it's quite a good way of demonstrating just one last thing if you go back to the original curve and we go to table values and let's start from uh minus three two three and we press ok that gives you a table of values for the original curve or minus three going up in steps of minus two which is also a useful fact feature of geogebra okay so this has been a video to show you how to use the uh, graph of geogebra graphing calculator to draw a curve and to explore the idea of concavity and finding a point of inflection. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.